I'm Matt Gallant, and you're on the list. Although he's deeply entrenched in Cincinnati's sports scene, Janelle Walt discovers what really anchors WCPO's Dennis Jansen around town. Good evening, everyone. This is the Dennis Jansen we all know and love. Although sports is his passion, this is what drives DJ. His five-acre haven in Indian Hill, DJ describes his slice of heaven as... Challenging, fulfilling, rewarding, serene. Serene if your definition of serene includes power tools. When he's not chained to the anchor desk, DJ roams free as the rugged outdoorsman. The essentials for his property? Pickup truck, four-wheel drive, as hopefully one that you don't mind scratching. DJ and his F-150 makes the intrusive honeysuckle tremble. And that is one honeysuckle bush that won't be coming back anytime soon. Next on his power tool must-haves. The brush cutter is great because uh, sometimes you just can't cut five acres in the course of a day. By the time you get to it, it's pretty unmanageable for a regular mower, and so the brush cutter is very, very handy for that. Chainsaws also make the cut. There she goes. DJ sweats to soothe his soul. Just like that. It is a total, total um, sequestration from what happens at work. It's, it's a release. Tonight, DJ signs off from the anchor desk for one last time. That's for sports. DJ gave the list an exclusive on his next media move, or should we say movie? I'm going to work on a documentary about the 1969 draft lottery. It was a pretty tumultuous evening, as you will see when, when it hits the big screen. Until then, DJ is still living the dream. Only in America kid from Price Hill driving around on his acreage in Indian Hill. What a wonderful country. For The List, I'm Janelle Walton.